Hello and welcome back to RC Dreamers. Today I'm going to talk about the Tammy Manta Ray um, upgrade. What I'm going to do is put a change the, the gearing in it. I'm going to put a 66 tooth spur gear and a 22 no, 25 tooth pinion gear. Um, that was the plan a couple of weeks ago until I took the gearbox apart and tried to put the pinion in and it just wouldn't fit. Um, I mentioned it, asked on Facebook basically what the problem was and it turns out that the gearbox in this one is an original like 1990s first edition and the hole for the pinion gear is very small because um, it's a buggy so it wasn't designed to have the high speed gear set. Um, later on the Tamiya brought out I think the TD the TA01 and the TA02, yeah, I think that's right anyway, and they could have the higher speed gear sets. They got a bigger hole for the pinion to go in and have a letter H stamped on the gearbox. Um, and then from then onwards, all the DFO1 chassis have that gearbox with the H stamp on it, so they easily take a 25 tooth pinion. So it's finally arrived. This is the, the make, I got it off eBay. Uh, it's a 0.6 module, which also equates to a 48 DP. Uh, I've checked it online and apparently it's the same thing, so fingers crossed that's fine. That's the small little pinion. New gearbox tree parts. So this is the part that I'm going to have to swap over with the one that's in the chassis now. So we're going to bring the camera over and we'll work on that and show you what, how we get on. Right guys, so I've got the gearbox uh, mostly disassembled and I can show you the difference here. Do you see those coming up on camera? If I put them down. Try and get that in the light. All right, this is the 25 tooth pinion the focus yeah all right so, so this gearbox here is the very first original Tammy Manta A DFA1 gearbox uh, it shows very well on camera but you can see that that physically will not fit into that hole but on the newer one here it fits only just but it does fit and also if, you, if i can get this to show up on camera i don't know i've got enough light here let's show the, the new one first come on focus You see it just in there in a round circle is a letter H stamped on there. Now this is all of the gearboxes since the first Manta Ray was released. I'm not sure, but I'm, I think the, even the original Top Force had that because that came after the original Manta Ray. So this is the, the original one. As you can see. There's no letter H stamps in there at all. 
I mean, this is all fairly new to me, so I'm no expert at this, but apparently this is um, now very, very hard to get hold of, these gearboxes. There's nothing wrong with it. As far as I'm concerned, it's pretty much, it's been bulletproof. But it can't take the 25 tooth pin in, so I have to swap it out. Right, back to the build, and then I'll come back in a minute. Right guys, um, little mistake I've done, not with the gearbox, but while I was building it, I thought I was recording it all, so I could show you the gears, um, the cleaning process and so on, regreasing, um, unfortunately that's not going to happen because I didn't record the damn thing, but that's the new one, all complete now, <clears throat> all gears in, regreased ready to put back together the old one see that a lot of old mucky grease in there just a quick uh, thing i've noticed this is the old original 1990s gearbox the back plate here you see those little holes each side on this one they're kind of like um slightly oval not square not round again this is the you see it's the original it doesn't have the h on there and the smaller hole let me compare it to the newer one on the back Makes no difference whatsoever, but it's just something I just spotted. You see the the square or rectangle. Funny how I notice these little things as you go along. That wouldn't have never noticed before. You can see the letter H on it, and uh, the larger opening for the pinion gear. All right, onwards and upwards. Right, so. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the new gearbox on with the new 60 suit, 66 tooth spur gear and 25 tooth pinion. That's right, yeah. Mesh up fine. And now it's time just to get the, the rear section all assembled again. One of the things I had to do, which is kind of a bit of a might have been of a no-no, is because these wires for the motor are actually quite short, and there's not really any room to, for them to go. I've cut a little tiny U-shape out of the top of the um, the chassis there, so you can imagine the, the chassis there. I've just taken like a little bit out just for the wire to go through better. I don't think it's going to affect the, um, the strength of it. Well, we'll find out what we when. Um, Give it a gun. Yeah, so it fits nice and snugly. All right, let's get this on then. I won't um video it because it's just boring, and you guys have probably seen it many times before. So get this done, and now we'll discuss it when it's all finished. See you in a bit. All right, welcome back. Yeah, it's all done. I'm sorry I missed out some of the recording. Uh, I had my phone set up on the tripod um, and it was during the build of the gearbox. I thought I'd press record, um, showing all the, the gears, taking them out, cleaning them, regreasing, and so on. Uh, not to be, I'm afraid. Oh well. Alright, so I've connected up the battery briefly just to make sure it works. This battery's not charged, it's in like a um, Storage mode is about 25%, but give an indication to see if it, everything's all working as it should do. Dumbo RC, turn it on. Uh, power on. One thing I don't like this ESC, apparently most of them will like it, they just the fan, if they've got a fan, it's just constantly on, grinding and making the right noise. But something I miss them on the old days with the um, 
the manual speed control is never had a that. Alright, let's give it a go. Hold it. Working. Right, let's shut this off. Can I imagine what that something when it's fully charged? <laughs> Can't wait. It's the first time I've seen these um, dual blocks tyres expand like that. Um, from the previous setup, these wheels and tyres, these particular tyres didn't really expand. Um, I've got another set you've probably seen in a previous video where they expand and that's um, like a cheap Chinese set, like a tenner, uh, so they're pretty good. So, I mean just holding that then you can feel it twisting, it, it wants, it's got torque so I can imagine what this is going to be like when it gets going. <laughs> that's be fun. That's fun, that's fine a second. Oh, while I was doing this video actually, through the postman delivered something. Put this behind it so you can see it. It's showing up. A set of dog bones, drive shafts. Um, so originally they were going to be for my top force build because I couldn't get hold of any original top force, especially the universal joint ones. So I went on, I think it was Bang Good, and saw these from China. They were like £2.54 including postage. For four, <laughs> that's unbelievable. And you can choose different colours. Um, you can have like chrome or the black, which is what I've got there. Different lengths. I mean, for, for two pound fifty something for four, can you believe that? I mean, just one Tamiya second hand would probably cost like a fiver. So I might put them in my runner one day. Um, Possibly, but they're, they're okay, they're not bent, they're working. So, if anyone's interested, let me know and I, you can, I can um, sell them to you. On that, on that note, parts for you, I've got a few spare bits. If anyone wants those, uh, let me know, email me, and we can sort something out and I'll get them in the post for you. Uh, I don't need them. Got a motor mount, damper stay. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, there you go. All right, here's the old gearbox. Oh, it's not screwed together. I'm going to clean this up, get all the goo and out of it, and make it look nice and respectable again. Because apparently, a couple of people on Social media has said that these are quite hard to come by now. Very, you certainly can't very rare to buy one new. So I'm going to hold on to it. It's like a souvenir, I suppose. <laughs> Old piece of history from that car. Yeah, that's it. Right, so what do you think, guys? Thank you very much. Take care, and we'll see you again soon. Bye.